Boys, welcome back to the video. Today we're doing something a little different. We're talking about the Sacramento Kings, of course. There was a report that came out a few minutes ago saying that they are unlikely to trade Buddy Heald or Harrison Barnes this season unless they are blown away by an offer. Of course, this is coming from Howard Beck per uh, Sports Illustrated. So there are GM Vivek Randiv. And if I pronounced that correctly, if I didn't, I apologize. But so he wants to remain competitive. He doesn't want to tank. Now, you guys have to understand this. The Sacramento Kings are a talented team. I don't like Luke Walton personally. I don't think he's a very good coach. He doesn't play as on white side. We know Rashawn Holmes is there as well. But again, I mean, you have this very good center that can help your team win games. Or at the minimum, you can showcase him to contenders that want to trade for him rather than just buy him out or get a second or something cheap. And you don't play him. So that's one thing. But the other thing is they're guards, right? They have Tyrese Halliburton, who's one of the best, if not the best rookies in the entire class from this uh, previous draft. And then you have De'Aaron Fox, who again is a top 10 point guard, breakout year, all-star, will be an all-star at, at least, but he's just balling. And then on the screen right here, you have Buddy Heald, who the thing with Buddy is he's a very good shooter, but he's not the best playmaker. He's not the best defender, and he's not on a best of contract. So if I were the Kings, I would instantly, I would trade Buddy Heald alone just to get assets for what I can and then that would free up minutes for Halliburton and then I would trade Harrison Barnes to a team like the Celtics and get more first round picks and then I would just continue to lose you don't need a tank but continue to lose games and then look you're right in the draft lottery I mean let's say the Kings get lucky and they fall into the top four you guys can walk away with Evan Mobley you, I mean obviously you're not taking a guard but you guys can walk away with Scotty Barnes or something so like the Kings are not a bad team by any means I would have thought they'd be in the playoffs this year you guys can see Buddy Heal on screen DeMarcus Cousins obviously Boogie got injured and that didn't work out but it's just looking at this team like the Kings could be so good in a couple of years if they continue to just rack up picks and build around De'Aaron Fox and Tyrese Halliburton and also bring back Rashawn Holmes he's about what is he 20 I don't think he's that old he might be like 27 28 in his prime having a great year and I do have Rashawn Holmes in one of my leagues so i i've watched a few kings games i'm not gonna try to sit up here and be like i'm the biggest kings fan i watch them all the time i don't but i know that they have young talent on this roster and they're just a few pieces away from being competitive again so i mean when you have that type of backcourt i mean tyrese halliburton and darren fox that alone should be enough to start making some noise they just need to go out and get an upgrade at the three get an upgrade at the four i mean be is all right but guys, i actually completely forgot they had marvin Bagley. they drafted him early on in the draft a couple years ago before luca by the way and trey young but again the thing with marvin Bagley is he's extremely talented he was compared a lot coming out of college to carmel anthony and although he hasn't been that great he hasn't been bad either like he can get a double double so if i were the kings i would personally i would trade Bagley. i really would i would trade everyone that has value and just get as many picks as possible and just try to, to rebuild this team. I mean, it's there's there's talent there. They just they need a good coach. They need more weapons, I would say, in the three and the four. I mean, again, Rashawn Holmes is a perfectly fine starting center. Is he a top ten center? No, he's not, because you look at top ten centers, I mean Jared Allen is is probably like barely a top ten center. So I mean he's not Jared Allen's a much better player than Rashawn Holmes is, but the Kings aren't far, man. Like you look at the rest of the roster, I mean Jabari Parker barely plays, but Corey Joseph is an okay veteran. I mean, yeah, this this team does need work, I will admit. But those picks will play into full effect, man, once they start to accumulate, right? Like, once they start to pile up. So, if I'm the Kings, I, could, I would honestly, like I said, I would trade Buddy Heald, clear up his salary, maybe take on another back contract and get a couple of picks, if you can get that. I would trade Harrison Barnes for some more picks from the Celtics. I know the Celtics were willing to give up picks for Jeremy Grant, so they probably will be willing to do so for, for Harrison Barnes. And then I'd say the next thing i do was probably, I don't know if I'd trade Bagley, maybe bring him back and give him the rest of the season and then make that decision in the offseason. But as of right now, I think the Kings are a few pieces away from being right back in playoff contention. I mean, this team hasn't made the playoffs, I don't, I don't believe, in since the early 2000s. So, I mean, they're 13th in the West right now. 13th, guys, there's only 15 teams in the West. So they're that close to being right there with the Rockets and teams like the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Pistons. So if the Kings do get a top five pick and they get any of those players i mean the thing is like what happens if the kings do get a top three pick like because they're not taking kate cunningham they're not taking jalen Suggs. do they go jalen green and play him at the three about six eight oh no you know actually you know what they'd probably take kaminga yo jonathan kaminga De'Aaron fox and tyrese halberton that that's a fire team bro with rashawn holmes and then of course marvin bagley the third see that's the thing man bro the kings are they're right there bro like, this isn't a bad team they don't it's not like they have no young pieces or 
or flexibility like nah man the kings are they're, they're right there they're just a few moves away and just to see their gm say that they don't want to trade any of these guys unless it blows them away now first of all buddy Heald's play is not going to blow anyone away and you look at harrison barnes who yeah he's he's a good veteran he could definitely help a contending team can take them not necessarily over the top but he can take them to a different level he would definitely be helping the celtics right now so i think the kings should go ahead and just do what's best for their future they got a couple of young studs that are under 25 i mean halberton's like 19 years old he was just drafted so Darren Fox might not even be 25. He's dude is hella young. Guys, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Do you think the Sacramento Kings should go ahead and start to rebuild? And this doesn't mean they need to rebuild every year, but I mean this could be a one-year rebuild where they just get more picks, they get more flexibility, and then they start to just build around their two young studs, of course, in Fox and Halliburton. They have Rashawn Holmes, they have Bagley, who they could keep or trade. They have this pick coming up. So I think the Kings are in a good position moving forward. If I were a Kings fan, I would be I would be a little disappointed because of Luke Walton because of my GM, but I mean you have some some talent man that, that's gonna be all star type players. I mean Darren Fox already is basically a borderline all star, and then you have Halliburton who will be an all star. So man, just just trust the process, Kings fans. Hopefully things will work out for you guys, man. Because I know right now they really haven't. I know that things are tough. You haven't made the playoffs in so long. Obviously against the Lakers, you guys were absolutely robbed in that series back when you had Mike Bibby and Chris Webber, of course, and Jason Williams, White Chocolate, but. Things will work out, man. They always do. I mean, it's been rough, but things eventually are going to start to to play into your favor, man. Things are going to start to get better. I mean, look at the Sixers, how bad they were. Look at the Nets, how bad they were. And now those teams are they're up there, man. They're starting to to be to be good. I mean, both. I mean, literally, they're up there. They're the one and the two seed in the East. But we'll see what happens, man. I'll keep you guys updated with the Kings and the NBA. But overall, man, Buddy Heald, when he came out of Oklahoma. Man, I just I thought this dude was a future star, but it just it never happened, man. And he's still young. He can still turn it around, but. Again, it's your boy Swaggy. I might sign out here, guys. Uh, I don't I don't have much else to add, but hopefully you did enjoy the video. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and like the video if you enjoyed it as well. And again, comment down below your thoughts on the Kings. If I missed anything, if I said anything wrong, let me know as well so I can try to get my knowledge up. But yeah, man, expect more videos like this. It's really fun to just talk more about basketball rather than just a team. So guys, have a great day. Peace.